Alright guys, um, we got trouble with the 1066, uh, well actually this happened, uh, a day ago, um, if you recall in my videos, I think I said it, uh, I, uh, since last, um, last fall I've been having problems, uh, with this button up here. The starter button, uh, which that's what we thought it was, and then uh, the spring came, and uh, come to find out, uh, solenoid was bad in it. Um, but as you can see here, it's a brand new solenoid on it. Um, uh, we did put a new switch in it, and this is sitting here yet. Uh, but. Come to try it out, and it's still dead yet. It doesn't do anything. It sits here. So, um, we've come to find, uh, think that the starter's gone in it. Um, so, uh, we called, uh, Case IH up, and, uh, they said, uh, bring it in tomorrow, and, uh, they'll, uh, figure out exactly what's wrong. Um, the soil, the solenoid was, it was junk, um, we took that black cap off, well, we actually cracked the plastic on here, but, uh, we're gonna replace that, but, uh, the other one, the inside, the inside was completely gone, but, uh, I mean, that's what we thought it was, was the solenoid, but, uh, still dead yet, um, lights and everything work on it, but it doesn't do a thing, so, uh, it leaves us to believe that the start is gone in it, which is original from a uh, 70, 72, 72 it was made. So, uh, I don't think it's going to be too hard to get this out. I think it's just four bolts, uh, one right there, and there's one up there. You got to take the battery out on the other side and then disconnect these wires here, and then, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to take, just take this pin out and just drop this so I can get it through here. But, uh, uh, this year's been kind of rough. Had to replace new tires on the other tractor. Um, I don't know, there's a few other things that we've done. Uh, got about half my pile hauled. Uh, oh, the other thing too is, uh, these tires on here, are, this tire in particular isn't the greatest, as yeah, you can see here, it's a nice crack. God, I wish I could, uh, um, roll that back a little bit so it doesn't sit on that crack like that. Uh, but, uh, we're gonna have to find new tires for this thing, uh, we're hoping that it lasts until, uh, early fall. But, um, well, I'll do a little video of tearing this apart, but I gotta take this battery out, take this cover off, and I think, yeah, and then I think there's just four bolts in there, and then I think I got to start her out, and then they're taking it up, my dad's gonna take it up tomorrow, and uh, hopefully figure out what's wrong with it, if they gotta order something new, um, uh, putting the switch in up here. You can see it up there. Just above the where all those circles are. It's up above there. Uh, that took a little bit to get in there. Uh, I hate it when uh, it's such a tight spot to get your hand up in there and you try not to bump other wires and loosen them. But, alright. I'm going to start tearing this apart and uh, Hopefully, uh, I'll get a little video of it doing that. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long. I'm hoping those bolts ain't, uh, ain't, uh, too hard to get out. But, uh, stay tuned for more.